Welcome to the new video. In this video we will discuss how black can destroy white's d4 opening in England gambit traps. So white will start with the d4, right? So black respond with the e5 and gambit. White takes it. Black attack the pawn. White defend the pawn. Black again attack the pawn with the queen and then white try to defend this pawn again with the bishop and then black goes queen to b4 check and this is called england complex because all the traps i mean mostly traps starts from here here queen is attacking on the bishop uh, giving a check and threatening to take b2 pawn there is a three double attacks right so most probably i mean the best move for white is bring the bishop back and he bring now queen can take the b2 pawn now if white here white needs to be very very careful and if your opponent i mean the white player is around 1000 rated or below that i mean a beginner then he might try to trap your queen with the move like a bishop c3 but that was a blunder he thought to capture the queen but now black has this dark color bishop and then this bishop can pin the um, white's bishop and if white uh, try to unpin this bishop by bringing the queen to d2 that's also a blunder i mean a mistake because now bishop takes then queen has to take i mean if queen take then that's a mate in one uh, by queen c1 checkmate and if white decide to take this bishop with the um, knight then white will lose the uh, rook simply he will lose the rook right so in all the cases white is totally destroyed and black is winning here this is our first trap now let's move to trap 2 in this trap black will capture white's queen with a unique moves combination like it starts with the d4 simply england gambit and white takes it and then black goes for bishop c5 that's a unique move and white decide to develop the knight on f3 now d6 again a gambit and white takes it and then knight to e7 that's a piece move i mean a free piece and if white takes this knight that's a huge blunder because now bishop this bishop can give a check then then king has to take it and now this way uh, white will lose the queen but here is a catch next move white can play e3 i mean opening up the bishop and the rook right this is very very important here if black try to capture this bishop then he will also lose the uh, lose his queen so the best move for black here is to capture on c2 with a check capture the pawn on c2 with a check now here uh, black can save i mean black has saved his queen as well as uh, he is better i mean minus 5 already right so black can win here Let's move to trap number 3. Game simply starts with the d4, e5, England complex formation. So at this point, black is threatening to take the b2 pawn as well as the bishop. So white will play d2 this time. And that's a blunder. How it's a blunder? Because now queen can take on b2 pawn, right? And then a white play queen to c3 exchange for the queen but here white missed black's bishop that's a brilliant move and now queen is pinned and if he takes it take with the knight because you are now threatening to fork and capture the rook as well so here white is totally destroyed i mean completely destroyed this is the time for white to resign the game right in just seven moves Let's move to next trap. 
This trap again starts with the d4 e5 and England complex formation. Now in this case, white decide to bring the bishop back. Now queen takes on b2, bishop c3, bishop and now he takes it, exchange. And now knight takes it and you may be thinking there is no big deal here because everything is captured, I mean a piece exchange, right? But this is not. Because now the next move white may try is bringing the knight out and if we do this then knight check I mean fork is very very important. Now the only move is queen takes and if queen takes he will lose the queen. So this is how queen got trapped in this trap as well in just 9 moves. Black is totally winning minus 8 already right. So this is also a good trap. Let's move to the next trap. That's a mate in 7. And actually here uh, white declined the gambit. Right. So game starts with the d4 e5. And white declined the gambit. Play the knight f3. Black push. Knight has to move. Black again push. White captures it. Now the bishop comes out. And look at the bishop and the queen. They all are looking at this king white king and the pawn on f2 is also gone so this is very tragic situation and suppose if white play any wrong move here like knight c3 that's a blunder and it's a mate in three can you believe it it's a blunder how how it's a mate in three queen gives a check uh, defend with the pawn sacrifice your queen take with the pawn and now it's a mate bishop sacrificing queen and mate in three that's a beautiful checkmate in just seven moves this is also a nice trap let's move on to the last trap this trap also starts with the d4 e5 line and england complex formation like we already discussed and then bishop uh, defend the check and now Queen takes on b2, knight has to come out and this is actually the best moves for white here, right? But uh, that's why white is already plus 3, right? Now bishop b4, uh, now uh, rook comes in. Now here, black play this move. This is so unique move. I mean, it's very very unique this move, right? So uh, white will most probably, I mean white will take this with the bishop because white is going to be queen up. He takes it, a check, blocking check with the knight and that's a good, right? But now black play, knight takes on e5. And now if white uh, try to develop his bishop, but that's a, that's a bad because now this is incredible brilliant move and black is now winning you can see the engine black is now winning the moment he play pawn to g3 black is winning right that's a brilliant move so these are all traps in england gambit i hope you learned something new if you have any suggestion comment down thank you for watching this video till the end